often called the father of the Indian software industry, passed away at the age of 96. A veteran of the Tata Group, he was the founder of the, and the first CEO of India's largest software exporter, TCS, and was credited as a visionary who always looked at the next frontier and put India on the global map for software services. Tributes have been pouring in, whether it is from N. Chandrasekhar, Narayana Murthy, and here is S. Ramadurai, the former TCS CEO, in conversation with my colleague Chandrasekhar. Uh, Mr. Kohli was a brilliant technocrat and a visionary business leader who had the nation at heart. Ever since he came back from the US to take up a job with the Tata Group, what he built within the Tata Group itself and for the nation and IT industry, which we are all very proud of. Not only it's a sad loss for the nation, but personally for me and my family, because he was a mentor, guide, and a very, very close family friend. Right. And from whatever I read, uh, I have been reading about him in the last few years. It looks like he was very active right till the end. Uh, in a recent interview, he said, you know, I, I, I was extremely active till 94. Then I had to be a little cautious. But he was very vocal with his views, had very strong views on various subjects. He also seemed to have a nice self-deprecating sense of humor. H how do you remember him, sir? I always remember him as something, every meeting with him, every interaction with him, every phone call with him, or every mail exchange with him was always something to learn. I think the ability to learn on a daily basis, hunger for learning, is what he taught all of us and personally me. I think uh, the uh, curiosity, the enthusiasm, the innovative mind and creative mind always kept him young, both in mind and the physical abilities. I think uh, very rare people you will see at this kind of an age namely 96, 97, who was still reading, his only regret was he was not able to walk as much or play golf as much. Right. One industry veteran I spoke to said that millions of men and women in the IT industry really owe high quality paying jobs to him because he was also someone who pioneered the concept of night shifts for women and you know the IT industry is one of the largest employers when it comes to women today at a time when all of us are talking about diversity at a global level. Take us through some of these beliefs of his on how he sort of wanted to create employment at scale across genders. I think the fundamental thing he believed when he came back to India was two things. One is the human capital of this nation. For every uh, 10 people that who immigrate, he said there are at least 100 Indians who are based in India who can learn anything, anything that is part of the world and then apply it. So his whole idea was how do you build these young entrepreneurs, young graduates for world-class levels and his benchmark was always world-class to the developed world rather than me too. Second point he believed fundamentally was in nation building and the power of technology which could be applied with the human capital I talked about within the Indian context. I think he was so passionate about the learnings and the application of technology, the highest level of technology to the Indian context. That is how he developed professional managers, that's how he encouraged the youth irrespective of the gender. He was always um, meeting everybody or understanding everybody on the professional competence and ability rather than any other um, mechanism or any other evaluation.